Uh, ignore my beautiful sunburn. <laughs> What's up my friends, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Beck, and I'll be your YouTuber for the next handful of minutes. If you wouldn't mind chucking us a like and offering us a subscribe, that would be duly appreciated. So finally, the package came. The one that I've been waiting for, for weeks. I ordered this on the 30th of November. So that was over two weeks ago. So today I'm going to be doing a Romway haul. So I've never ordered from Romway, Romway before. I see a lot of people doing these videos, so it's like, I join in on the trend, you know? And uh, two hauls in two days, that's always fun. I haven't opened the package yet, so I'm not gonna show you the front because it's got my address and everything. Hopefully the sizes are right, otherwise this is gonna be a waste of time. So I only got four items because um, shipping was like $10 or something. Yeah, shipping is 1068 Australian dollars. So this is the one size fits all. They are just stripy, checkered-ish pants. So this was $31.20, but I got a discount. So the sale was, for this for these pants, was 57% off. So that means I got it for $8.01. <laughs> so they are called Grid Print Drawstring Peg Pants. And on the model, they are quite fitted and they're just above the ankle bone but let's check out the one size fits all and we'll see if it really fits all i mean obviously it won't this is the biggest load of bull crap because obviously you're on the bigger size or the smaller size you definitely won't fit into it i'm sorry maybe smaller size oh okay so the material's not what i thought it would be it's actually thicker than i thought it would be oh it smells like pickles <laughs> So it's got like a um, elastic waistband, it's got drawstrings. Um, so these actually don't feel like too bad a material to be honest. They're quite soft. These are actually like, it's a weird material. It's dare I say very crepe papery, but like sort of maybe mixed with like nylon. So it's like a, a shiny crepe paper, not a papery crepe paper. I don't know how to explain it. It actually fits me almost perf uh, perfectly lengthwise, which is quite a surprise because I'm very short. The waistbands are tiny bit itchy. Um, it's got really shallow pockets and it's actually kind of complementary to the booty because of the pattern. So was it really worth it? Mm, I mean, I, I, think, I think they're nice. Um, I'd probably get the same quality from like Kmart for maybe $10 or $15, so not too mad. So we're going to move on to the next thing. So these are the grey ribbed knit striped side seam, side seam sweatpants. These were $21.38 and these were also 57% off. So they're originally $50.20. But I'm going to be honest with you, when I've previously visited Romway, None of this stuff was actually that expensive, so I feel like the sale's a bit of a bullcrap. These are in a size small. I've actually watched multiple videos reviewing Romway and seeing if they're a scam and stuff like that. And um, Patricia Bright, one of the greatest YouTubers, has actually noticed that some of them have different brands on them. So I think I think it was Romway, maybe it was Shein. I think it was Romway. Um, but Romway had like tags for Shein or other brands and stuff like that, or they had like cut off tags. So it's like a bit of like a, a warehouse sell thing, like, you know, like TK Maxx or something. These are actually very similar material, but a lot softer. Okay, so this has got, once again, elastic waistband, quite stretchy actually, with drawstring. The drawstrings look like they belong on a crappy pair of pajama pants. This actually seems like it's in pretty good quality. This one still smells like pickles but a little less. Oh my god guys, <laughs> my legs and butt are too big for this. Like it fits. <laughs> it's not a very flexible material. Holy cow. It's like, oh, you can see my undies. <laughs> so like I mentioned, they're a bit see-through, um, but I think that might be because they're super duper tight around my quads and my glutes. 
and they're also pretty long but like I said I'm really really short so on the model they come to just around the same length as the other pants that I showed you so just above the ankle bone so next up is the high neck ribbed crop sweater so this is 57% off as well um, it was originally $28.49 but I bought it for $12.02 and it is also in a size small. So I was in like desperate need of a crop top. So hopefully, oh, hopefully this will fulfill that. I don't think my head's actually gonna fit through that. It looks like somebody's just cut like a turtleneck off this. So this has no tags, so I can't tell if it's a different brand, but I'll just take it a quick squeeze at the next item on the floor. And well, Patricia, my friend, I've got some more evidence for you. <laughs> this is super cropped. Holy cow. I don't know. I like it, but I don't. Like I said, it feels very ill-fitted. Like, it feels like there's no shape to it. I don't know. The neck is a bit weird. I don't know. You can see my bra line and everything, too. You can see my, my, my pigeon chest. So, I don't know. So, this final one, I actually saw on Karis. I think her last name's Grey. Um, her Instagram. Um, so, that's Busy Bee at Busy Bee Karis. This one looked really nice on her, and I'm like, oh. That looks really nice. Um, they were in stock, so I, I got one for myself. Hopefully it fits in everything. So this one is also in a small. So this is the Lettuce Hem Edge Rib Net Embroidered Tee. And it was 74% off. It was originally $25.77, and I bought it for $6.67. So about the brand actually having different tags to what its actual brand is. Um, well, I just got first-hand evidence of this. So basically, um, Patricia Bright, she sort of hypothesized that uh, Sheen and Romway were the same company because they're very um, similar clothes and apparently there's actually been repeats. And of course, they have the Sheen tag on some of their clothes. You can't see because of my stupid camera, but it says Sheen. So I'm not too fussed if a website does that just as long as it's not illegally selling somebody else's clothes, like copywriting. Just a little um, annoying thing. So they've used black like stitching to have the tag on and it's gone through. So there's black fabric on the other side. So I'm going to try it on. Try not to get lipstick on it. I might actually have to remove my lipstick for this. This, what is this? What are these? Um. So this fabric is, it feels a lot rougher. So this has just got like red trims everywhere. It's got little boob art and it says baby doll, baby doll. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't really suit me. It's a lot longer than the other one. Feels a lot more fitted as well, as in tight. It's weirdly fitted though. It's got like saggy armpits. It's got pointy shoulders. It's a lot stretchier than the other one though. So with this one, I feel like the bra line is a bit less obvious. But I feel like that's because it's not really, um, I feel like that's because of the colour, um, it's a lighter colour and like, I don't know, I just feel like it sort of disguises the line somehow. So I think this was actually $54.76 spent okayly. I feel like I could have spent that much money at Supre and gotten better clothes, like better quality but I don't think I would have found the style of clothes that I got here. It was just an interesting experience to see what this brand is like and what it's about and the quality and all that and show you guys. But um, that's the end of the video. All of the links to these clothes will be in the description. Don't forget to comment if you want me to do a haul of another brand or like online brand, in-store brand, whatever. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in one of the previous videos or one of the next ones. It depends. Bye!